Welcome for this weekly recap of the blockchain news. If you are new here and you want to learn how you can get your first full-time job in crypto, check out this free training. I put the link in the description. Ether saw a 10% jump this week and went back briefly above $3,000. The kid and testnet successfully switched from proof of work to proof of stake, which is another great news for the upcoming Ethereum upgrade. Over 1 million ETH has been deposited in the staking contract in the past 30 days. DeepDA announced their first listing on the Solana blockchain. The Epcon DAO from Boat Yacht Club airdrops millions of Ape coins to NFT owners. A quick message from our sponsor Opera. In 2018, Opera launched the world's first browser with a built-in crypto wallet. And in 2022, Opera went one step further and released a browser 100% dedicated to Web3 applications. The most important feature is the built-in wallet, which is way more secure than installing an extension like you would do with other web browsers. The built-in wallet supports Ethereum and Polygon with plans to support more networks in the future. You can use it to manage Ether, ERC20 and ERC721 tokens. And with this built-in wallet, it's also much more convenient to use your favorite DeFi, NFT or gaming dApp. Next, there is a couple of privacy and safety features specially designed for crypto such as a secure clipboard where you can copy-paste addresses safely, a built-in VPN and a built-in ad blocker. Next, we have the Crypto Corner, where you can easily follow all the crypto news from your favorite website, YouTube channels, and podcasts. There is also a calendar for airdrops and NFT launches. You can also find educational content for crypto. So go ahead and try out the Opera Crypto Browser. It's currently available for laptops, Android, and soon for iOS. I put the link in the description. Back to crypto news. The DeFi market cap has been rising slowly and is currently at $79 billion. Parallel Finance launched a lending platform on Polkadot with over 500 million in total value locked. A Mekoda community proposal discusses integrating real-world assets to scale the protocol further. Aave V3 is live on Optimism and Arbitrum. This new version adds portals, high efficiency mode, isolation mode, gas optimization, and risk management. Consensus, the company behind MetaMask and Infra, raised $450 million from Microsoft and SoftBank. The Ethereum scaling platform Optimism raised $150 million from A16Z and Paradigm. Fan creates a cricket NFT market marketplace raised 100 million. Agave, an Aave fork and 100 finance lost over 11 million dollars in an exploit. The Lee Finance protocol was hacked for 600,000 million dollars. Music NFTs gained traction as Snoop Dogg launched an NFT for its upcoming album. Pixar launched an NFT collection on Immutable X. DC Comics launched a hybrid trading card linked to NFTs. Ukraine officially legalized crypto. HSBC acquired virtual real estate in the sandbox metaverse. The Russia Central Bank gave a license to issue and exchange crypto assets. A new version of Solidity was just released with bug fixes. A new version of Remix was released with support for JavaScript unit testing with Mocha. Tally Ho, a browser wallet, added native support for signing with Ethereum. That's it for today. Have a great day.